Come in. Hi, Will. Hi, guys. Where's the... Who's uh, here? No one. Do, hey, do they know you can't play for POV? Why? Because they just came to me and they're like, we think... They, just now, Danielle came out when we were in the hot tub and she's like, I think Janelle can't play for POV. And we're like, it doesn't matter, she's HOH. And they're like, yeah, but does that mean four people are playing for it or six? No, six. Six. But Erica says no. What? Six people. Hey, turn that screen on. No, but Erica just said, Erica was like, look, I asked in the DR and they wouldn't tell me, but no, I'll say Erica's it. like, look, six people shouldn't be allowed to play because Jan Janelle can't play and she's HOH, so the HOH shouldn't be able to play. I don't know. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. The week um, Kaser and, and Georgie didn't play, if um if, if they would have been on the block, there would have been six people playing Kaser and they would have done the beats for whatever they wanted. Kaser and Georgie, why? Um, because they, they gave up their right to right. the veto. Oh, right, right. I forgot that. I totally forgot that. And there were six people that played and it didn't matter. They just okay. couldn't play. Okay, mm -hmm. I forgot that. Their names were just taken out of the... So tomorrow they're just going to be like, okay, it's time for POV. Janelle, you actually did this. You can't play. We're gonna You're going to draw a ball? Yeah. Or spin it or whatever. No, you won't even be eligible to compete. So, so to, to someone, else, yeah, how are they going to do that? That's what we we'll we'll I'll probably I'll probably draw two balls. Howie, your microphone is sliding on its cable. No, it's not, BB. Right You're wrong, BB. Sure. I don't have a shirt on, BB. You're wrong. Tell him. Who's going to play? Uh, it's not our right. It's, it's going to spin or ball. Who knows? One of you guys will probably play. All right, there's only play. there's only two people that won't play tomorrow. The well, exception to her. See, if, I, if Boogie and I play, we're fine because we'll win it and then be like, look, we can't use it for fear of the other one going right. up. Done deal. Absolutely. Yeah. Did she ask you to try and win it or something? No, or but they were kind of hinting at that when you guys came out. They were like, we think only four people can play. And we were like, cool. And they were like, yeah, Chicken George is pretty bad at those. And we were like, yeah. And they were like, and Marcellus, you know, he never does well either. And we were like, yeah. And so we were you like. pick them? I don't know. They were like kind of hinting like, can we pick you guys? They didn't say it. And then, um. We were because they can't pick someone from season. They can't pick Howie. Yeah. There's so few people to pick. I think what happened is they went inside and were like, "Who the fuck are we gonna pick?" You know. First of all, they may not, they may not have may not have that option. If they pick out a ball. They they, they can't house guest choice. Me house guest choice. Well, if they get the house guest choice, so they, they draw my they ball. Didn't say that, but they didn't say that. But like it was kind of I was wondering if that's where they were going with it. No, they'll be they six. They'll be six competitors we want for the veto. Of okay. course they will. First of all, it's a TV. It's, first of all, it's a TV show. They want six people out there competing. That's true. You know? You're absolutely right. Um, but they didn't ask you like straight out. Like, what, what were they asking you? Why would you use the veto? So Howie. fucking, they put so put they could put we could put Voogie up. You know what I mean? Well, sure. they they were saying like if we if if one of us wins the veto, who do you think will go up? And I'm like, I don't know. I was like, I hope Marcellus. You know, because I didn't want to be like, yeah. you're going you're home. <laughs> I'm gonna be like, you're, you're going home. Go yeah. So I was like, I hope Marcellus. We hate him. We hate him. We hate we him. We can't put Marcellus. And then the whole, everyone. Out of the Big Brother's history of 75 house guests, they would vote him out. Everyone will vote themselves out. In the finals, you mean? No, no. Oh, we'll vote Everyone him out, in Big yeah. Brother history, if yeah. they were up against Marcel, they'd vote him out. Exactly. <laughs> um, but so, uh, and then they were like, uh, and then they said, well, do you, Jan you guys are, you know, Janelle won't put you guys up. You know, and we were like, yes, yeah, she will. So we wanted to make it kind of like, we're not going to use it because she'll put the other one of us up. Right. And that was all that was, all that was said? And then Mike Boogie hitting on Erica oh. for like two hours. Here's your question. How does the float herd know that I call him the float herd? Because, I don't know, we use it in front of him probably. Really? No, we don't. I use it all the time. I mean, oh, I use you it do? all the time. Okay. Yeah. Okay. You do? Yeah. You use it in front of them. I didn't know it was like a secret. Well, I You call I, him I, the float herd? I haven't <laughs> thought about that, but I mean like, I'm sure I do. All right. <laughs> I don't remember, but I mean, like, it's quite possible. I didn't know that was, like, a secret thing. I thought that but was... You don't like, welcome and say, well, Howie calls you the floater, right? No, of course okay. not. Okay. Because Danielle was asking Howie. She was like, oh, you think I'm a floater, blah, blah, blah. Like, you were boogie head went to her and said... But, but they said it in the thing. They go, we're the float herd, huh? We're the float herd. <laughs> yeah, no, I think that's a term that they kind of... I mean, they've been calling themselves... A, like, for a long time, they've been saying, like, well, we are, we're the floaters. We have to vote. They don't know that I call them no, for, a float herd unless they've heard it or that I call them a... I mean, they, I think it's they, just they pointing at me. How can like, they point it at me? I don't know. I haven't heard them use that with at you me. at all. We were at the dinner table, and they were talking about the sheep. It's like it's a French sheep. It's like a herd. It's like a nerd herd. And then Daniel looks at me... you think Bobby told them? Because it's like a nerd herd. It's like a float herd. No, I don't think... I mean, you, why are you guys worried about that? I mean, I don't think that... I don't think that it's a big deal, one. I don't think they know it's associated with you guys calling that. I didn't even realize that it was, like, a big thing at all until you mentioned it. Now, I don't understand why it's a big deal. But well, I mean, that's three, information I mean, like, I've never told them about. It's like... I never said, no. I'm calling you the float herd. 
Like when I go to the DR and address them. Honestly, I may have called them the float. I may have said, like, look, you guys are the float herd. I mean, we joke about Erica floating all the time. Erica, like, everyone knows Erica's floater. We're constantly doing it, like, yeah. Booger's like, yeah, your breasts are floating, you're a floater. Like, I mean, it's a constant discussion. So I don't know if I think that's kind of, like, not a big deal and you guys are making a big deal out of it. I could care less if they know about it, but I mean, if I'm telling you or someone information and it's going to them, I mean, no, trust me. The old, Danielle's listen. like going to James and saying, "Why, why are, um, you know, why is season six calling us the float herd and all this stuff?" But well, we never said anything to them. She's. I mean, listen. I'm pretty sure Danielle's with James. I'm pretty sure Danielle's with Marcellus. How much so? I don't know. She's obviously also with Erica. Obviously, I mean, like Erica's like, "Hey, girlfriend, one of us has to win that thing," and. Danielle's like, mm hmm and you could tell Danielle's like, bitch, I'm going to win it. I mean, I think it's common knowledge that it's Chill Town, season six, and the float herd. Exactly. You think so? Wait, wait, wait what? Unless you're, what? Unless you're retarded. You shouldn't yeah, how would you not know that? I mean, maybe Chicken George is the one person who you can't really qualify, like, but, but I mean, isn't that, doesn't every single person realize that? Realize that what? Yeah, unless you're, you should There's be an three groups. If you can't comprehend that, you shouldn't be an all-star. There's three groups. There's Chill Town, Season 6, and the Float Herd. Yeah. That's like Janelle when we went to you and we we're like, hey, you're Season 6, you're an alliance. And you're like, no, we're not. And we're like, <laughs> okay, whatever. Then don't, like, you don't have to say it, but whatever. Like, I mean, if you go to Marcellus and be like, look, you're you're in the Float group or whatever, and he says no, well, he, he doesn't have to admit it. He is. Exactly. The difference is the Float Herd, like, they do hate Marcellus, but they need him. Absolutely. They do hate him. Everyone, everyone in this show, you said it, 75 people hate. If you ask those three celebrity judges, <laughs> they, they would have voted Marcel. I mean, Marcel sucks. Everybody knows it. He just sucks. He's bitter. He's going to last a long time. And it's like, what can you do about it? Eventually, we'll try to get him. It'll be a lot easier as a group to get him. We have to keep her in the game as long as possible because she sends everyone home. <laughs> well, no shit. <laughs> The only, my, listen, my fear with, with the two of us and Boogie, my only fear is James. Why, though? That's so he's far so, away from now. No, I, so know, far no, from no. Now. I know, but I'm just being honest with my feelings today. I just think he's untrustworthy. Like, I get, like, get rid of Danielle, there's no one for him to work with besides us. Fine. That's fine. That's fine. She has to, that's fine. That's fine. She has to go. She has uh, to listen, go. you don't have to convince me. You've already right. done it. I'm right. totally comfortable with that. He can't go to Chicken George, and he's not going to live with Marcellus. I'm totally comfortable with that. But it's kind of weird that you have to like worry about him leaving. You know what I mean? Like if you're kind of you don't worry That's about how he's leaving. The kind of person I will always have like a plan B. But if we get rid of his plan B, then he has to work. Yeah, no, exactly. of course. But I mean, the whole point is you don't. There always is going to be a plan B. There will always be a plan B. Like next week, if Boogie wins HOH, he's not going to kiss butt like Marcellus. But then maybe he'll be like, look, you know, we were already together. You know, let's. I don't. I don't know. But that's my concern with him. I feel like, I feel like everyone else is on the up and up. Like, I feel like we have all been very honest with each other, and mm -hmm. I just feel like if somehow, like, let's say Danielle wins POV and then wins HOH, James is going to be totally on her side. That's why I agree with you, she has to go. Yeah. I completely agree. Erica, she, Erica's on everybody's side. Right. Uh -huh. Marcellus is on whosoever side wins HOH, and James is on Danielle's side. Fine, Danielle has to go. I would have rather James left last week. Well, well yeah, you guys really helped that cause. Well, d d I mean, I'm not convinced. I it mean, wasn't that we. Chicken George lied to his We couldn't have done it. We, I mean, we realized we couldn't have done it, and we didn't. We were in a position like, what are we going to do? Like, get er anger everybody and like vote, you know, three against James. We, I mean, there's nothing we could do. It's unbelievable. Chicken George was the most important vote, but he was. He's untrustworthy. He, he takes orders. James, from wait, let me ask you this: Did Kaser? I agree. Did Kaser definitely ask? Chicken George for his vote, and Chicken George said yes. Is that true? Yes. No chance Kaser made that up? Kaser doesn't lie. No, he doesn't lie. <laughs> Especially not to me and her. It's true. Because, I mean, we said, like, the night before the vote, Kaser was like, look, can I have you guys' votes? And we're like, we don't think you have Chicken George's vote. We're like, and he's like, have you talked to him? We're like, well, we tried to, but, like, Chicken George is always like, I can't talk about it. So we're like, go ask him right now. And Kaser went in there, and, and Chicken George was like, yeah, Kaser, like, I can't talk about it, but it's good. And then we were like... We were like, we don't believe him, but I mean, like, I don't know. I mean, I guess our instincts were right. He said he swore, he swore he got on his family. I believe, I believe that Kaser did have Chicken George's vote. Boogie said he does not, and I, I believe Boogie, and I'm wondering if Erica told Boogie, but he would have told me. Yeah. Don't let Erica flirt, don't let Boogie's flirting with Erica bother you at all. He is ready to cut her. Really? Danielle and Erica don't, are the only two people that control George in this house. I agree. Because we had him in here today, and he's, he, he basically. Not acknowledging it or answering it means yes. Yeah. 